April 4th, we'll see the 105th edition of the Tour of Flanders, or Ronde van Vlaanderen, take place. Famed for its cobbles and its brutal climbs, the Tour of Flanders is one of the hardest one-day races and easily one of the most anticipated. Both the men's and women's races will take place on the same day over some of the region's hardest cobbles and climbs. The race will cover 267 kilometers, with the women's race taking place on the same day, riding a shorter 157 kilometer course to Odenard, but still tackling the big name climbs. The route of the two races differ, with the men's winding its way from Antwerp before beginning a series of circuits and finishing in Odenard after 267 kilometers. Meanwhile, the women's race starts and finishes in Odenard, covering 150 kilometers and missing out on some cobbled sections. In total, the men's race will tackle 22 sections of cobbles and the women's 14, with the most difficult including the Mer van Gerardsbergen with an average gradient of 9.3%, as well as the Oderquermont and the Paterberg. The men will additionally tackle the Koppenberg, a climb with an average gradient of 11.6%, maxing out at 22%. At 2.2 kilometers, the Eau de Quermont is the longest climb in both races and positioning is particularly important on its 12% gradients if you are in with a chance of victory. It will feature three times in the men's race, including in the final 20 kilometers. However, the Paterberg is the final climb of both races, coming just three kilometers after the Eau de Quermont and just 13 kilometers from the finish, meaning it is usually the climb with the most attacking. With its gradient matching out at 13% over the 400 meter climb, it is a brutal end to the cobbles, but a great opportunity to grab some time so close to the finish. In 2020, Matteo van der Poel of Alphys in Phoenix and Wout van Aert of Jumbo Visma went right to the line, with van der Poel just managing to beat van Aert in a two-up sprint that required a photo finish to confirm. Competition between these two has only grown more intense following Matteo van der Poel's win at Strada Bianchi and an impressive solo break at Torino Adriatico. Van Aert hasn't failed to catch the eye though, with the Belgian star winning a bunch sprint, an individual time trial where he beat Stefan Kung and world champion Filippo Ganna, as well as second in the overall standings behind Tour de France champion Tadej Pogacar at Torino Adriatico. De Kernic Quickstep are typically considered to be the strongest classics team was a trio including world champion Julian Alaphilippe, Zednek Steibar and Kasper Asgreen. They certainly make a formidable squad. Hot off his Milan San Remo victory, Trek Sega Fredo's Jasper Stuyven alongside Mads Pedersen will be looking to place highly. Greg Van Avema will also be targeting an elusive victory with his new AG2R Citron team and he will have help from former Belgian champion Oliver Nason. Peter Sagan's early season form has shown signs of improvement following the positive COVID-19 test. The three-time world champion will be targeting his second victory, having previously won the race in 2016 solo, 25 seconds ahead of the great Fabian Cancellara. Other names to watch out for will be Soren Craig Anderson at Team DSM, Sepp Van Mark of Israel Startup Nation. Meanwhile, in the women's race, SD Works have shown themselves to be in winning form, with Anna van der Breggen, who won this race in 2018, winning Omloop Het Newsblad, and was last year's Flanders winner, Chantel van der Broek Black, winning Strada Bianche. Both will be looking to chalk up a further Flanders title in their final year of racing. Trek Segafredo also have huge strengths in depth with Elisa Longo Borghini, Lizzie Danen, Ellen Van Dyke, Lucinda Brand, Audre Cordon Rego, Trixie Warwick, and Chloe Hosking all capable of winning. But they aren't the only riders who have a great chance of victory, with Movistar's European champion Annemiek Van Vluten almost unbeatable last year before her crash at the Giro Rosa, and she will be hoping to regain that form for Flanders. Other big names likely to be involved in the shakeup are Marianne Voss and former world champion Marta Bastianelli. So there you go, a preview of the upcoming Tour of Flanders, one of the most hotly anticipated races of the early season classics. Who do you think will win? Let us know in the comments section below and do subscribe to the Cycling Weekly YouTube channel for more race previews.